Hey, Kevin Jansen here. Come and take a ride with me. Going to the beautiful park, Fenway. Let's go. Thank you. <laughs> You know, I feel great. I feel definitely great. It's exciting to go to the ballpark every day, especially the team that we have. You know, the group the guys that we have, how hard we work, you know, how encouraged we are to just bring this team back to the top. Um, you know, can, can ask better for that. These guys make it so easy for me to connect with them. All my bullpen guys to, you know, Chris Sale. Chris Sale is the one and like hit me up right away when I signed and, you know, and tell me about a lot of great things about Boston. You know, even former teammates, Rich Hill texts me, Nathan Evaldi texts me, you know, tell me that you're gonna love there. So it's a great chemistry team. And having my, you know, my, one of my best teammates ever, JT, here back with me, we're playing with, with teammates again. That's definitely, you know, definitely make it even more fun to be here also too. It's great, man. I mean, for me, play here as a visitor side, I, I always thought that was very excited. But um, now that I'm wearing the Red Sox uniform, it, it is, it's, it's awesome. It's amazing. And um, I love it, man. I just want to, I just want to be here. You know, that's, that's the place I want to be. It's a city of success, man. And we want to continue that. And I want to be a part of it. And that's where I'm going to, you know, make sure always remind myself about those things and it's just not a pressure it's just a motivation to push forward you know for for the best i never thought we we're gonna be a pitcher it's just a dream come true like you know like i always thought that i might have a chance to play in the big leagues as a catcher but you know couldn't hit consistently and here i am i'm not gonna try to like looks so much to it like it's a milestone and this and that it's just another you know another goal that you accomplish you know how 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 much more can you reach you know always try to reach till when you can't you know so i'm definitely going to enjoy it when it comes but you know let that be a bigger motivation for you to keep continue for the best kieran you know he's definitely keeps saying um, Papa, I'm going to be better than you. I'm going to play in the big stage. Caden also know, you know, that's the oldest one, that, you know, that is a professional player. Also, my, my, my older daughter, Natalia, you know, she, she definitely knows. So they, they know, they know, they know. And that's the thing. They, they're watching, you know, like my two sons, even my, my one year old daughter, you know, when I'm pitching, she go to the TV, mom saying, and start clapping her hands. And so those are things that motivate you a lot and, and bring that joy for you to just continue to go, you know, like continue to go um, as far as you can. This game can get you. It can be very stressful if you don't take care of it. For me, that mentally I have to get myself ready for even my preparation. Everything that I do, we play 162 games, so it's easy to be like, I don't want to do anything today. And, you know, I'm constantly telling myself, we got to go through all those little stuff to be at your best to perform out there. To be honest with you, game mode, like really, really game mode. Like I enjoy my, my process. I enjoy coming in here, do all my preparation. And when the game comes, just let it come, you know, let it come. Don't, don't be too, you know, hesitant about it. Think about it too much about it. It's just let it come and when it comes, you know, once I walked, walked in, going to the bullpen, you know, I started to get more locked in, but I think, yeah, once seven inning hit, I'm telling you, like, I'm, I'm totally locked in. I stopped talking to all my teammates in the bullpen. <laughs> I love them, but yeah. So yeah, seven inning comes, you know, I'll be the most quiet guy in the bullpen. Yeah, Boston fans, we're here. Fanway Park it is, so. Yes, we're here. Yeah, sure, I will sign that for you. There you go. You were waiting for him. Yeah. I was Stuck waiting. the last hour waiting for you. You was waiting for me? Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
Oh man. We're up here or anything. Since I love. Appreciate it, Kylie. I love how you hit. You do I don't hit. I pitch. He's a, he's a well, closer. Well, you do a great job. I do a great job. Well, tell tell to the fans. Tell to the so all. He's like amazing. Yeah. Now what should we say? Go what? Let's go. The Red Sox. All right. <laughs> All right. Thank you. That brings up Raphael. Back, 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 back. Gone. And in there for strike three. And that's the ball game. The Red Sox have swept Toronto on to Philadelphia. Oh, what a night here in South Philadelphia. We head to the bottom of the ninth inning. Kenley Jansen will take over on the mound. Ball cut out of missed. And one out here in the ninth inning. He went around. River strikes out. Ritter go. Swung on. Foul tip, and the ball game is over. Kenley Jansen is able to get out of the trouble. And career save number 398. Game two. We got the Phillies and the Red Sox battling here at Citizens Bank Park. Jansen trying to make it back to back in this series. Trying to make it 399 for his regular season big league career. Got Schwarber again for a second straight night. Trey Turner lifts one to left. Angling over his Tapia into the corner. Two away. Back up the middle, off the mound to the shortstop Hernandez. Save number 399 for Kenley Jansen in his big league career. Kinley Jansen is on to try to close things out. He's going for his 400th career save. If he gets it, he'll be just the seventh in Major League Baseball history to reach that mark. Murphy out to center, shallow center, but it hangs up long enough for Duran. Center field, Duran over a little bit. And the Braves down to their final out. And for Kenley Jansen, he becomes the seventh major league player ever to hit 400 career saves. Ah. Hmm. Man, the adrenaline was to the roof. I don't want to sound corny, but it's just, it was, that day was, it was locked. It was, nothing could have happened. It was locked in and let's get this thing done. It's like nobody have a shot because it's just your adrenaline is so to the roof and you're so locked in and you see another part of yourself. And it was, it was unbelievable. It's not a lot of people who got to 400. I'm the seventh one who got to 400 save. And <laughs> man, it's, it's, it's surreal. It was surreal. So it still is. It means a lot, man, to see how much everybody cares. And it's nothing special to have Justin and Kike there with me again. Those are the guys that, you know, like JT saw from 100 to 200, 300, now to 400. And same thing with Kike, he saw from 200, 300, 400. It's unbelievable, unbelievable having those two guys. Those two guys was a huge part of my career as a Dodgers also. You know, we know what we built over there and accomplished what we accomplished. And here they are, you know, playing behind me that day. And then also present that nice ceremony that they have in the clubhouse, special moment. Uh, everyone in here, I'm sure you know by now, uh, that was Kenley's 400 save. A lot of people were very proud of you. And we put together a little video and we want to show it to you first. So if you want to grab a seat. Papa, congratulations on your 400 saves. Congratulations, Kelly. You did it. Congratulations with your 400 saves. Huge congratulations, man. What an accomplishment. What a milestone. 400 saves. Very thankful to have been your teammate for a lot of those saves. I want to just congratulate you on being a member of the 400 Club. I think in 2021, my last year as a Dodger, I think 
that year, see how my year was going and I pick it up again and everything is going smooth. Um, by the end of the year when I got you know, 38 safe, I think I have, that was my 350, that's when it starts to get interesting. You know, hey, you know, I can get to 400. And now being with Boston, ain't nothing better, man. Nothing better to get it in this uniform. I can tell you that right now. Definitely wanted to get it in Fenway. Like you say, man, it's just meant to be to happen in Atlanta, a team that I've grown up watching and it happened there. So, you know, a day that I'll never forget.